I've uh, just mentioned, our football frenzy is upon us. World Cup fever has kicked in because the England team will kick off their World Cup campaign on Saturday with a match against the USA. And writing in the mail, Sandra Howard has been pondering how to cope with her husband Michael's obsession with football in the coming weeks. She says that uh, football is his true lifelong mistress. So I wonder, should we women fight it or just go with the flow? So what do you think, ladies? Is it a case of, uh, if you can't beat them, join them? Yeah, it's hard to imagine Michael Howard, is he? England! England! Because <laughs> he's very well brought up, boy. Um, no, I go with the flow, me and my house, although we have a problem in our house because my sons are half Italian, so we, get, we have a bit of confrontation. Oh. Yes, not just the football. Um, <laughs> but I shall be there serving, you know, whatever refreshments to my loved ones, although Mr Spain has no interest in football whatsoever. So he'll, he and I will be happily in the kitchen minding our own business and every now and I'll run in with a few refreshments and... You'll maybe... be in charge of snacks, won't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. I quite like it, actually. Anything that's like a big global event like that, I think it's really exciting because the whole country gets behind it. I'm actually at a dinner party on Saturday night with some Americans. Ooh. And I haven't... <laughs> No, I mean, no, no. I think that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Talk oh, about see. divisions. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're playing America, just so you know. Yes. All right, OK. Yeah. I don't understand football at all. Or geography, it would appear. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I, I don't even know where the dinner party is. <laughs> I must check that. That's the um, thing, isn't it? When That's where our frustrations as women kind of come to the fore, because we don't pay attention for four years. And then, you know, I think a lot of us are fair-weather followers of the international but game. you need four years to learn that offside thing. Still don't really know if don't I can explain it. Oh, let's not go there, let's not go I there. Jump up and I, I move, I jump up and down and go, corner! And everyone goes, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, think, I think Sandra Howard's got a point, because what you have to be sensitive to is the fact that men have uh, feelings about football that we will probably never truly understand, in the same way they probably don't understand our monthly cycle, and we just have to kind of go with it. <laughs> but it's true, and I know that when, or if, fingers crossed, we... Um, well, you know, let's face it, when we get kicked out of the World Cup, because it is... <laughs> optimistic and no, foolish no, people! No, no, no. But apparently we won't get kicked out, because no, someone won't. said to me, because all the teams that we're playing are rubbish. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's the way to win the campaign, no, just play small countries. No, that's not very sportsmanlike. What you have to say, my son says, is that we have got an Italian manager, which counts for a lot this time. Yeah, but they're okay. Italian, they would say that. No, all I would say is just be sensitive to the fact that when it does, or if it happens, you know, they, they go into a slight depression, men, and they we'll like never I. understand it. It's like, it's like they're having, you know, their monthly cycle. Well, I don't think we should, I honestly don't think we should encourage them. Really? Because I don't mind I don't mind the odd England game, really, if I'm honest. I think I'll go to the pub and shout at the TV and pretend to be interested. But there's nothing worse for day after day after day coming home and all that you see on your TV is blooming football, isn't there? Mm. Girls, I mean, really, you lose your Corrie, your EastEnders, <laughs> you know. It's We've not been fair. moved, I know. And I think they get upset because they, that's their life for the next three months. And if it ends abruptly, they don't know what else to do with themselves, yeah. do they? They might have to talk to us. <laughs> oh, don't go too I think far. You're being unfair on the poor. Absolutely. And good luck, England. Yay! That's what we say. Yay! battles on the pitch over the next few weeks there's even fiercer fighting uh, ensuing for the ultimate world cup song and amongst the people to throw their weight into the ring uh, this time around are robbie williams and russell brand with the three lions 2010 take uh, that they've come up with there's james corden and dizzy rascal with shout for england but none of them and i say none of them compare to this listen up frank wayne and fabio because england you've got a new anthem waiting for you what song is it i can't sing
24 it. hours to learn that thing. Let me tell you, it was very nerve-wracking. I was fun. Four. Yeah, <laughs> you did very, very well over all 48 Number verses. One hit. Uh, let's hear it for <laughs> Zoe Tyler there. <laughs> well done, love. And if you liked what you heard, and if you did like that, and well, maybe I should recommend you go see a doctor. <laughs> 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 then the single Loose Women Were Going All The Way, composed by Paul Baker and Burt Routledge, is available for download for free exclusively on the Loose Women website. Simply follow all the instructions on the screen, and you'll also find the lyrics there, so you can sing along as well, unlike us, as well as uh, uh, taking in some outtakes from the making of the video, including Linda doing something quite unspeakable to a young man. <laughs> One year into marriage, I don't know. <laughs> okay.